What is it about the Fantastic Four movies? I mean, the comics, that was the first thing that Stan Lee ever wrote. And it was actually the first superhero team to be done. Just in the same kind of way that Superman started DC Comics and was like the template for a lot of superheroes that came after that, Fantastic Four started Marvel and was the template for pretty much all of the superhero team movies. Even the Avengers are taken from those archetypes. You got the tough guy, you got the smart guy, you got the loose cannon, you got the sexy chick that is the victim of all kinds of sexist and misogynistic stuff. Seriously, Sue Storm in the early days was threatened to be spanked by members of that team way too many times. But why is it that these movies just can't get it together? Because this one should have worked, right? We've got the director of Chronicle, which was a really good movie. We've got an all around solid cast. We've even got Stan Lee as the executive producer. Seriously, executive producer, that means he must have actually been involved, right? I mean, he doesn't normally do that. Normally he just shows up for his cameo, right? So how could it all go so wrong? This should have been the movie that was what fans of the Fantastic Four have been waiting for. But sadly it isn't. The problem is basically this. All movies are beginning, middle and end. This is beginning and that's pretty much it. I mean sure, yes, there technically is an end because the movie did have an end and there is stuff between the beginning and the end that technically you could call the middle but here's the thing. At about the 40 minute mark, there's a, a time jump where the, the movie skips forward a year. A lot of that is just so they can skip over the training for all of them getting used to their superpowers and all that, which is appreciated. We don't need to see all that again. But everything that happens before that time jump, I actually found quite interesting. Like I was invested, I cared about what was happening. It had its problems, but nothing too serious. Once the movie makes that time jump, it's very strange. It's almost like the film doesn't quite know what it wants to be. There's this weird kind of, on the one hand, it's kind of like taking a bit of like Weapon X from the X-Men series. On the other hand, it's trying to do like a Bruce Banner thing of him you know, on the run and not wanting to be a weapon and all that sort of stuff. And it mixes with it this sort of anti-authority, anti-government type of message, but it's really unclear as to what the actual message is that the movie is trying to convey to the audience, or maybe it wasn't even trying to convey a message. Maybe it was just there to have someone for the Fantastic Four to clash with until Doctor Doom shows up. And when he does show up, the movie just ends. It ends. The reaction of the audience in the cinema I was in, the vibe was very strange when the movie ended. Everyone just sort of sat up and went, oh, I guess it's over? And a surprisingly large number of people actually stayed to the end of the credits to see if there was an end credit scene. Way more than you normally get in like an actual Marvel Marvel movie. And I think that's just because people were like, is that it? There must be something else? But no, it just kind of ended. Sue, you're close. Lose them. This is so wrong. Wow, you'd be more than that. Shut up! So ultimately, where does the movie stand? How does the movie fare? Well, I don't think it would be fair to say that this was just another movie made just so that Fox could hold on to the rights. I don't think that's true at all because I think you can see that there was an effort here to try to do something new and do something original and do something unique with the film and obviously none of us were there behind the scenes so we don't know what happened but if I had to guess I'd say it's just from all these rewrites and all these reshoots and the story just getting chopped up by the studio and especially in that middle part and it's a shame because I really would have liked to see the movie that the director was trying to make but I can't give a rating to a movie that I wished I had seen. I have to give a rating to the movie that I actually did see. So let's break it down. Plot, character, tone, and enjoyment. Plot, the first one third was solid. The middle was really confusing and the end was very anticlimactic. So as much as I was invested in that first one third, I can't see it as being enough to justify the rest of the movie characters although the actors playing them i did like and i actually did like reed richards quite a lot it's really hard to say the characters are stand out when they don't really have anything really to do i mean they pretty much just do 
what the trailer shows. I mean, they discover this other dimension and then there's Doctor Doom and I'm not spoiling anything by saying that because you already know going in that's what the movie's going to be. So you can't really have compelling characters. So that's a fail. The tone, again, because it shifts at that 40 minute mark and again towards the end, was all over the place. Finally, the enjoyment factor. Usually, we can overlook more stuff in a movie if we're actually having fun. So, how much fun did I have or was I invested? Again, only for one third. So, I'm sorry to say it, Fantastic Four, but that was really a fail on all levels. And it's sad, because if any superhero team deserves a good movie, it's the Fantastic Four. So thanks guys. If you've seen the movie, let me know in the comments what you guys thought. Obviously, no spoilers. There will be a spoiler talk video coming up soon. And until then, I will see you guys in the comments. By the way, I know some of you are annoyed that I keep putting Shia LaBeouf at the end of all the videos. Okay, so just one more. Just one more, and then we'll put Shia away. Ebb and flow. Edging closer. Expanding warmth. That point just before the pressure bursts. Capillary rush. Tension. Resisting. Each muscle, each limb, each breath. Under control for now. Questions of limitations dissolve into the blur. Eyes open, but horizons fall away. The burn increases now. Uh, the pain centers. One of you escapes, but I pull you back. <laughs> Duality. Existing only as a whole. Weakened by quivering joints. Lungs push for release. A struggle to hold on. Control surrendered. Suspended in dullness. Eyes closed. Now numb.